here with Angel McCautry of the Atlanta Dream. And uh, Angel, this final series will feature four number one draft picks. Uh, yourself, Lindsey Harding, Simone Augustus, and Maya Moore. What does that say about the influx of talent over the last few years? Wow, I've never thought about it like that. <laughs> but, it, I mean, uh, Minnesota has three of them. So <laughs> that's not good for us. But um, it, it just shows the growth of this league, the talent. I mean, if, if you come to watch these women play, well, us women, you're going to see just some, some um, fast pace, high flying to basketball. And I think a lot of people, I've had a lot of people recently come to me and it's like, oh my God, I've never really watched, but I'm hooked. You guys are awesome. You guys play like, you know, like the men. Okay, we can't dunk, but subtract that. Everything else is just, it's on point. No, some uh, can dunk, just uh, you don't see as much of it. But speaking of growth, Atlanta, You've been part of the meteoric rise where the first season they went 4-30 and 30 before you joined, and since then, three playoff appearances and now two finals appearances. Uh, what does that say about the growth of talent and consistency for the Dream? Yeah, it just shows that we have a good group of girls who have worked hard. Um, I know it was rough the first year, and I can only imagine, but the girls that have been here since the first year have worked hard, and, and they, they don't want to feel that again. They, they know what it's like to, to be down like that, and you know they've worked hard, and, and we're here now, so it shows that it has paid off. Now, you uh, were very quick to show your jubilee after beating Atlanta in game, or Indiana in Game 3 to earn the right to play here. And so I guess maybe was that sort of symbolic of Atlanta going through early struggles to qualify for the finals? Because you were, you, you were very excited on ESPN. Um, it's just one of the things where, I mean, we just made to the championship round. We just won, you know, the Eastern Conference. It wasn't nothing to um, bash Indiana or anything. I give Indiana all the credit. I love Tamika. Tamika's my big sister. You know what I mean? And it was just one of the things, you're ex I'm excited to be there. Life is short. Why not get excited about this and enjoy this? Well, something wrong with you if you weren't excited. Right. So. And uh, for you, I guess, it, on top of that, it, like Atlanta having to go through some struggles, they were 1-5 and five after home-and-home and home with Minnesota, and then injuries uh, healed. The dream came back, cohesion formed. What is different about this dream team that we didn't see in the home-and-home home series, you, the Lynx? remind me of those days? Um, uh. No, um, back my bad. Then, we had a lot of we had a lot of schedule. I mean, a lot of injuries. Um, I know I was I had a real nasty knee injury, knee sprain. Um, but most of the players are healthy now. Um, we're all you know together collectively. A lot of people were in and out, except for Erica, of course. But um, we're all back and we're ready to go. Speaking of Erica, she's playing at Brazil to get her team in the uh, title and s yes. since or in the FIBA championship or the Olympics and since then you've gone with the three guard lineup and that worked out very well with Indiana. So what do you think happens well, it was when a promise we make to her? We like, man, we want we really want to you know want to see you again. We want you to come back. So only way we could see her again if we made the finals. We're like, all right, Erica, we got to do this for you so we can you can come back. And so she excited that uh, she gets to oh, see you guys one more time. I'm excited. So <laughs> she should be here second game. And um, how are you? approach Minnesota this time knowing that they played like the, their form for most of the regular season uh, in the Western Conference Finals. Our mindset is different. Um, back, back when we played them, we weren't a very confident team, you know, um, so this time we're very confident and we believe that we can, anything is possible, we can do anything we put our mind to. And whatever happens, what does this say perhaps about you and about the team to have another chance at the championship when there were some folks that look were nervous about Atlanta's chances early on. It doesn't matter, you know, who's nervous or, you know, who doesn't believe in us because we believe in ourselves and, you know, we can do a lot of great things. Nobody thought we'd be here now. I mean, in the beginning, they didn't have us to beat Connecticut. They didn't have us to beat Indiana. We're here. Speaking of that, you know, both of those series were on the road. Last year, you won your playoff series uh, not having home court advantage. And so what is Atlanta's mentality like going on the road? Is it's it's a basketball court. A court is a court, and you know we're trained that mentally. Um, we don't let you know it being on the other opponent's court bother us. You just got to play like it's your own court. And uh, you mentioned Atlanta getting excited. A lot of folks coming in for the first time getting excited about the game. How has the city responded to a second consecutive finals the appearance? City wants this really bad. Um, I think the fact that um, Atlanta wants been, has been winning a championship for the longest, and Atlanta deserves it. They're a great city, it's a great city. It deserves a championship, and hopefully us women, quote unquote, can bring it back. I think their last professional championship was the Braves World Series in the 95 season, so uh, they're they starving. My hometown, Baltimore. <laughs> but it's okay, so we gotta bring one back, though. 
And then lastly, anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching this uh, before yeah, game one? I just want to say hi to uh, my friends and family back in Baltimore, my grandma, and my new family in Atlanta. All right, well, thanks for speaking with us. Good luck, and uh, maybe you might get your chance to uh, visit Obama if you uh, can pull this yes, off. I got to get to the White House. President Obama, we got to meet. <laughs>